What's up guys? My name is Trevor Young. Also known as Trevor the Young and Spa. Trevor the Young and, and Spa, baby. Now, what's up guys? My name is Trevor. And I just want to share with you guys on my heart. You know, the name and Spa and why I've chosen the name and Spa. I remember five years ago, uh, back in 2010, at the age of 17, 18, I remember sitting in uh, youth one time. And at my home church, Manukau Hope Centre, now it's called Hope Centre New Zealand. I remember sitting there in the crowd and at a youth conference, and there was the name Inspire in bold font and bold font on the projectors. And around that time, um, I was just starting how to rap and things like that, and just trying to uh, build a name for myself. I remember around that time, and I remember that name Inspire. I N S P I R E um, was up on the projectors, and around that time I was looking for a stage name myself. I was going through a phrase of trying to search for the right stage name, and that name inspire. I really felt it was like heavy on my heart, and I believed that God really said to me, like, "Son, that's your stage name. That's your stage name. That's who you are." And you know, five years on now, here in 2015. You know, I believe with all my heart that the name Inspire has grown in my identity. You know, it's who I am. And that's what I just want to share with you guys is that the whole name behind Inspire, the whole stage name behind the name Inspire. You know, in the dictionary, the version in the dictionary that defines the name Inspire is someone who encourages another person with confidence and new ideas. Someone who encourages another person with confidence and new ideas. And I believe that with all my posters and all my statuses and all my messages and illustrations as well as my songs and poetry out on social media, Facebook and Instagram and things like that, I believe with all my heart that I'm piercing the hearts of so many and that I will pierce the human hearts and spark the human minds. You know, I will bring hope to people who feel hopeless. You know, I will be that faithful person for those who, you know, feeling faithless because, you know, the God that I serve, my Lord Jesus Christ, you know, he, he has always been faithful to me when I was faithless. You know, he always brought me hope when I, when I felt like giving up and hopelessness. So that's, you know, that's the name, you know, behind the whole name Inspire and the reason why I chose the name Inspire five years ago. And yeah. And I believe with all my heart that, you know, one day I will make a mark on so many lives. And yeah, so right now I want to share with you guys um, a poetry, a spoken word that I performed at Raise Up Mangri around two weeks ago at an open mic session called Restraining Our Image. Restraining Our Image. And I dedicate that to anyone who's ever felt worthless, who ever felt like they're like worth nothing. Can I just encourage you guys that you know, God does have a plan and a purpose for you in your life. You know, it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a brighter future. So yeah, hear my heart out on the spoken word, this poetry. Ayo, your boy Trevor the Young, inspire. It inspires me to inspire you. Be inspired, man, and I'm inspiring lives one step at a time. I'm going to inspire one person that will indeed inspire others. Inspire to inspire, inspire to dream. Peace, love, and respect. My poetry, Restraining Our Image, 2015. Restraining Our Image. I often ask myself about a situation that applies to myself, about our generation that denies ourselves. Losing patience, I cry to myself. We live in a generation across the nation that suicidal thoughts and temptation occur. So I think to myself, well I try it myself, cause my vision seems blur. What goes on in the mind is a mystery. Behind closed doors I wonder what thoughts open sesame. And the words people said to me, lies a bunch of misery. Remember that old saying goes, sticks and stones break my bones but words can never get to me. And Words can never hurt me. Yo, let me tell you something, man. That's a lie. Words are effective and they do indeed get the best out of me. Also the rest out of me. As humans before, we collapse, 
closed doors, losing things and losing focus to hopelessness, feeling trapped, going around in circles, hit with major setbacks. The question is, how do you come back from that? How do you come back from that? Or how do you bounce back? How do you come back from a setback? But people like me, who's been called a failure, will always get used to that. When I was young, I was called useless, ain't meant for nothing. I was closed into the abusiveness. It came from my closest loved ones, so what meant something? It used to cut me deep. I used to believe that. Till I found Christ, and I breathed this life of words into me. From Jeremiah 29 11, the plans and the promises that he has for me, I received that. And now I chuck on a new perspective and chuck on a new view. Believe me, I ain't trying to Bible bash you, I'm just telling you what's real. And that you are a chosen from a few. And he has something great in store for you. It says in his word, the plans that he'll do. They say that dreams don't come true. Broken teens from broken homes with broken dreams, filled with emotional screams. Don't let it be you. So it's all about stepping up and stepping out. It's all about being the change, making the difference. We can't be the change unless we change our minds, unless the change comes in from within. So what needs to change is, what a coincidence. Learn to restraighten our image and our daily perspectives and our effectiveness of our existence. Learn to isolate and block out all these suicidal thoughts. It's crucial trying to find the approval of this world. But then again, we're so caught up in this fantasy of the thoughts of impressing this world, making us feeling depressed in our own world. Success lies in each and every one of us. Let me repeat that. Success lies in each and every one of us. Follow your dreams and follow your heart. Learn to trust within us. We straighten our image. We straighten our image. What's up, man? I just want to share with you guys that, that spoken word, that poetry that I performed at Raise Up Mangry two weeks ago. We straighten our image. And here's a little word of encouragement to uplift your spirit if you're feeling down. Let me encourage you that, you know, we sometimes forget as humans how grateful and appreciated that we are. You know, the air that we breathe people around us, the beautiness that surrounds us. Here in New Zealand, you know, we're surrounded by such beauty. You know, we live in a beautiful country and sometimes we forget that, how grateful we are. Just know that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. Don't let nothing or what people say about you bring you down, for you are God's creation. Just know that you ain't a failure. You are born with success and greatness. I've lost hope many times in my life and I fell flat on my face. I've hit rock bottom, but without grace and the mercy of God, there will be no faith. You know, finding the perspective of yourself, trying to accept yourself for who you are and just know that you are called different. You know, you are called for something great and something unique and something significant. Just know that you ain't a part of the crowd. You know, you got your own DNA. Always follow your heart and always follow your dreams. You can and you will make it if you just believe. And that's real talk. And before I go, man, I just want to share this last bit. When no one was behind me back in 2010, when I was first starting, you know, rapping and things like that and trying to make songs and all that kind of stuff, I started with a, a microphone attached to a headpiece and I used, to, I used to rap from that or I used to rap from my phone with the voicemail. Can I just encourage you that when no one was behind me back around that time, all I had was myself and Jesus. I knew I had a gift that I had to launch out. I knew that I had to believe in myself. You know, you got to believe in yourself. You got to support yourself when no one else will be there to support you. It all starts with, it all starts with you. You know, if you got a dream and a gift, you got to follow it. You know, you got to pursue it. Till you make it and you will make it when no one else supports you you gotta be your own supporter and that's something i want to leave with you guys man is restraining our image restraining our image ayo hey, your boy trevor the young inspire it inspires me to inspire you be inspired man and i'm inspiring lives one step at a time i'm gonna inspire one person that will indeed 
inspire others, inspire to inspire, inspire to dream that ripple effect. Peace, love, and respect. Hey, it's your boy Trevor the Young, 